Uh, I'm a student of uh, uh, media studies and uh, I'm conducting uh, research on such and such topic and uh, I need your opinion uh, to explore this question and I shall be thankful if you fill in this questionnaire and return me in time all these things. And I assure you that I will uh, uh, use this information which are provided by you for academic purpose and not, will not be misused anywhere else. So all these things uh, uh, we mention in cover letter. Introduce the research topic and the research team to neutralize doubts or mistrust of respondents. Clear? To motivate the respondents, you know, आपके जवाबात बहुत आहम हैं, आपका तामन हमारे लिए बहुत जरूरी है, बगैर बगैर। Assure anonymity, I have told you earlier कि आपकी चीजें को हम confidential में रखेंगे। Explain the object, objective and the significance of the study, and mention how much time it should take, it will take to fill in. Ideally, it should not take more than thirty minutes. Then instruction in cover letter, how to fill the questionnaire? Take or any other mark or sign, how to return uh, the questionnaire to the researcher or the project director, whether by hand or through free quasi letter or by post, uh, in a self-addressed stamp envelope by certain date. So all these things are mentioned in the cover letter. You might have uh, seen uh, the questionnaire of my project, of my PhD project. I have shown you earlier so many times or not. So you, every one of you should get uh, the photocopy of this uh, questionnaire. So uh, since the uh, PhD thesis is uh, uh, checked and evaluated by the foreign experts, so we always make questionnaire in English to be annexed uh, in the thesis, but to get the data from the field, we make in, it in Urdu, in Pakistan perspective. So, uh, this has a cover letter, this is uh, address, this is my name, everything. And next is, these are the instructions, and these are personal data of the respondent, his age, education, institution background whatsoever. This is a very first thing that it should be having a cover letter. This is called a cover letter. It is a part of questionnaire. Second is inadequate instructions uh, are one of the major sources of non-responses and this should be avoided. Fully we should give the instructions to the respondent. Uh, Ali, you don't look at me. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is the mic. This is the mic. This is the mic. So, uh, clear again. Second point is the uh, format of questionnaire. Funnel format. Funnel format means like a uh, funnel. And this is why it is called funnel format. This is a this is like funnel. Keef kita. This is funnel format. This is inverted funnel format. This is diamond format. This is X format and box format and mixed format. 
in funnel format in funnel format the questions move look here from general to specific in inverted format the questions move from specific to general in diamond format questions move from specific to general and then from general to specific in x format questions move from general to specific and specific to general and this makes x and this is a box all questions move in a uniform way logically and mix means you may mix two or three formats so these are the different formats of a question ठीक explain करने की मेरा ख्याल है जरूरत नहीं you should come to the fourth point questionnaire should have adequate format and uh, an adequate format uh, ensures a frictionless completion of the questionnaire allows the respondent to feel a part of the research process and helps to avoid fatigue and boredom which can cause disinterest and lack of cooperation next is arrangement of questions questions uh should be arranged logically so that the respondent does not notice the passing of time and the intellectual effort required to answer the question a positive attitude to the study is maintained and the respondent is more likely to complete the questionnaire and return it to the researcher next is size of questionnaire the number of questions ranges from only a few to several hundred the golden rule with respect to questionnaire size is that one should include as many questions as necessary and as few as possible the size of the questionnaire depends on the types of the study no types of the question primary questions these are questions obtain information directly related to the research secondary these do not add new information rather check the truthfulness of the uh, respondent make the correction respondent respondent uh, third is the padding questions such a questions act as a breather and are usually asked before or after sensitive questions prop questions the purpose of these questions is completing or expanding information given by the respondents direct or personal questions in such questions the respondent provides information about himself or herself why do you smoke uh, why do you like smoking why do you like smoke this is the example of the direct question the indirect way uh, an indirect question is when the respondent is unwilling or unable to offer direct information then use indirect questions ig for example what do you think why people like smoking why do you like smoking and why people like smoking so this one is the indirect question suggestive question such questions presuppose that the respondent holds a particular view on the issue that is that is similar to that of the researcher and contain an implied attempt to tempt the respondent to come from this view for example this question do you believe that annual examination system at university level is not a good method to judge the knowledge of the students is uh, asked in this way don't you also think that annual examination system should be abolished from the university because it is not a good method of judging the knowledge of the students what you have given the researcher has given his own opinion before asking the opinion of the respondent what the researcher has done mistake over here he has given his opinion that this is not a good method and you want the respondent should agree with you so you are compelling him for a particular answer and uh, this means suggestive question these are called suggestive questions so these should be avoided filter or contingency question filter question aim at obtaining information related to general aspect of the research topic 
and is usually followed by another more specific question that is called contingency question more specific question is called contingency question secondary question jo aap puchte hain example of filter question is do you smoke and contingency question is asked after filter question how many cigarettes do you smoke each day so to to know the further about it other is response format the response category should have accurate sets for example if we ask how successful are you with your progress and if we give response category as yes, very satisfied satisfied unsatisfied very unsatisfied it is not accurate because it relates to the satisfaction and not the success these two issues may be interrelated but different a business manager may be very satisfied with the progress of his or her branch but also rate the degree of success of his business as moderate the other is number one is the numerical response numerical response category includes a continuum with two opposite adjectives at each end and a range of numbers in between you gave very you gave 5 to very satisfied and gave one very unsatisfied and range your answer may range between these two extreme 1 and 5 this card numerical responses there is verbal the expected response to a question is formulated in words for example very high high moderate low very low these are called verbal response verbal skill the other is verbal numerical you may mention very positive positive neutral negative very negative and give 5 to very positive 4 to positive 3 to neutral 2 to negative and 1 to very negative so this is combination of verbal and numerical scale the other is question content one question is expected to address one item only language should be simple language of the question should be simple we should avoid ambiguous questions avoid embarrassing questions questions should convey a positive attitude towards the respondents in the study now layout questions must be well presented in the questionnaire easy to read easy to follow questions and response categories must be easy to identify and distinguish well distinguishable from other questions and response categories for this reason sufficient space should be provided between the questions clear instruction regarding the way of answering the question must be given for example circle the appropriate number or tick the relevant box nothing should be taken for granted sufficient space should be left for the respondent to make relevant remarks if required content of the questions every question must be relevant to one or more aspect of the study which i mentioned and the very outset uh, of the uh, discussion at very start of the discussion uh, that uh, uh, there uh, any question should be related to one or any other one or more aspects of the study ambiguous non specific and hypothetical questions are to be avoided leading double barrel questions should not be implied embarrassing personal or threatening questions should be avoided vague words should not be used the language of the respondent should be implied they frequently like urdu so we will use urdu in our as a language easy flow and logical progression in the questionnaire should be assured questionnaire format the questionnaire must have a professional appearance and should give the impression of a document that deserves respect and invokes feeling of responsibility the questionnaire should be presented in a way that encourages the respondent to complete and return it for smaller questionnaire writing on one side of the page is preferable print color color of paper ink must correspond with the preference of the color Uh, preference of the respondent it should be 
as we use in this society, black color, white paper, it's normal. In some society it might be red color is preferred, in some society it might be green color is preferred, Behar we prefer white paper and black writing. Uh, the questionnaire should be presented as a complete document with an inviting and reassuring introductory cover letter and a concluding note containing instructions regarding the return of questionnaire. The questionnaire size should be kept to a minimum and restricted to as many questions as necessary and as few as possible. Sufficient instructions should be provided where necessary. Pre-coded questions should offer adequate response categories. Pre-coded means which color do you like? So give all the colors. Think with me. All questions should be checked for possible bias and ethical adequacy. Uh, now steps in questionnaire construction. Prepare a preparation. For preparation of a good questionnaire, the researcher should search for relevant questionnaire that might have already been developed by other investigators. This is very strong tradition uh, in some uh, fields of social sciences where the questionnaire set by earlier researchers is used for your own study. Psychology. In psychology, yeah. And they mention it, that this questionnaire was constructed by such and such person and we are taking this as an instrument for our study in this area. The questionnaire was developed in America and we, have, we are using it in Pakistan after certain changes if required. Otherwise, they mention the name who constructed this questionnaire. But we are, here in social sciences, uh, in media studies, uh, this tradition is not very strong. Mm, uh, and also, uh, the questionnaires are not available on internet. Aisha, uh, I think we, I should put my questionnaire uh, on internet so that the people should use it if they want to study this model. Uh, to establish this tradition, to follow this tradition of psychology. So questionnaires, uh, once set by a person, they publish it on the internet. And the other researchers uh, are allowed to utilize the same questionnaire for their study. But they will mention and they will give credit that who firstly uh, constructed this questionnaire. Uh, such questionnaire is found, uh, the same may be adopted if it is totally related to the new study or, or such questionnaire may be used as guide in the construction of a new questionnaire. Always keep in mind, when you are writing, to, when you are doing anything, you are writing a synopsis, when you are writing a, a research paper, when you are writing a questionnaire, you are not the only and the very first person doing these things. So first of all, see what other people have done. If you are going to write a research article, see this research journal and get the idea how a research paper can be written. What should be the format? How charts and graphs and tables are presented if it's a quantitative study. If it's a qualitative study, so how uh, a paper is divided into different sections, this discussion, introduction, literature, I mean, questions, all these things. So if you study the research questions which are published, so it will be easy for you. Yes. If you are going to construct a questionnaire, this will help you a lot. That it should look like this. So this is the principle. If uh, you are going to a new place. So definitely you will ask somebody who has visited that place that what type of that place is. What should I wear in these days over there? Garam kapde le jau, thande le jau, mausam kaisa hoga, jaga kaisi hai, log kaise hai, how to travel, kitne ghande lagte hai, kitne ghande ki flight hai. Puchte hai na sir, we get all information. Almost bande ke baas jate hai. Raw handedly, Pada Likhad me, Koi Kaam Nii Kar. Mada Mai Nair Is Aadmi Se Kitna Different Hoga. So, Is Liye Hum Keh Rhe Hain Ke 
uh, if uh, uh, it is totally related to the new study or such questionnaire may be used as a guide in the construction of new questionnaire. So you are going to construct your own questionnaire but you may get help from the questionnaires which are developed by the earlier researcher related to your topic. Uh, next uh, is uh, constructing the first draft. The investigator formulates number of questions, usually a few more than required. Third one is self-critique. These questions are tested for, among other things, relevance, symmetry, clarity and simplicity as well as for whether they comply with the basic rules of the questionnaire construction. Then external scrutiny. The first draft is then sent. The first draft is then given to expert for scrutiny and suggestion. It is anticipated that some questions might be changed or eliminated while new questions might be suggested. Re-examination and revision. The critique offered by expert and group leader will be considered and eventual changes implemented. If the revision is not significant, the investigator proceeds to the next step. If the revision is substantial, the questionnaire is presented again to the expert and later re-examined and revised until it is considered satisfactory. The investigator then proceeds to the next step. And that next step is pre-testing our pilot study. In most cases, a pilot study or a pre-test is undertaken to check the suitability of the questionnaire as a whole or some aspect of it. A small sample is selected for this purpose and the respondent are requested to respond to the whole or part of the questionnaire. The result is then analyzed and interpreted. interpreted. Next is revision. The pretest and the pilot study usually results in some minor or major changes. If the changes are minor, the investigator will proceed to the next step, that is second pretest. And if the changes are major, they will return to the step of the external scrutiny. Second pretest. The revised questionnaire is then subjected to a second test, mainly with regard to the revised questions. The response is considered for adjustment and revision, uh, formulation of final draft, and this final step. Uh, apart from implementing the suggestions derived from the pretest, the investigator concentrates on editorial work, checking for spelling mistakes, legibility instruction layout space, for responses, pre-coding, scaling issues, and general presentation of the questionnaire. This copy will finally be sent to the printer. Okay, G, uh, so reviewing the questionnaire, uh, the questionnaire review often involves uh, a large number of points, many of which relate to the nature of a particular research topic. Uh, however, the following points should be considered in the review. Size of the questionnaire. If the questionnaire is too large or too small, is the questionnaire too large or too small? In ideal terms, it should include as many questions as necessary and as few as possible. Often, large research topics require many questions and small research topics require few questions. The rule here is that every question should have a specific purpose. If not, it has no place in the questionnaire. Second is relevance of the procedure. Uh, which point of the topic is uh, the question related to? Is it strictly relevant? Does it ask what it is meant to ask? Questions must be tuned to one aspect, one specific point, in a clear and unambiguous way. Necess necessity. Is every question required? 
could some questions be omitted? Is there any repetition in the questions? Is more than one question needed for each item? Questions will be retained only if they have certain purpose and they are really necessary. Clarity. Are the questions easy to understand? Clear and unambiguous? Tone and content. Is the tone of the questions acceptable? Are the questions unethical, threatening, insulting, patronizing or otherwise? Such questions must be changed or omitted. Setup of question. Is sufficient space provided for recording answers given to open-ended questions? Open-ended means which, uh, which we, in which we seek the opinion of the people and there is no yes, no or pre-coded question. Pre-coded questions uh, are the response categories to pre-coded questions easy to understand, unidimensional, exhaustive and mutual exclusive. If not, they need to be reconstructed. Easy to understand, uh, unidimensional. They should be asking one dimension. Okay. Unidimension means one dimension. Exhaustive means if uh, we are going to ask which is your favorite color. So we should use, write as many colors, names of colors as possible. And this is called exhaust. No more. Exhaust. So there will be some 15 colors, 8 colors, 10 colors, 20 colors. How many colors are Visible to seven. फिर आजकल खबरतीन ने एक को पर्पल बना दिया, एक को मजेंडा बना दिया, एक को मूव बना दिया, एक को सी ग्रीन बना दिया, एक को ग्रीन बना दिया, एक को स्काई ग्रीन बना दिया, एक को ब्लू ग्रीन बना दिया क्या? नेवी ब्लू बना दिया, एक को पता नहीं क्या ब्लू बना दिया, एक को क्या ग्रीन बना दिया, एक को क्या रेड बना दिया, एक को क्या कुछ बना दिया, वो इतने बहुत सारे कलर हैं, मुझे तो आते ही नहीं हैं। आ पता नहीं क्या, ऑरेंज शेड क्या होता है, I don't know। कोई मुझे कहे ना कि ये कलर कौन सा है? मैं तो अपनी वाइफ से सुनता रहता हूँ, य कहती ये ये मूव कर लो मैंने कहा ये तो पर्पल है कितनी पर्पल जरा तेज होता है मूव कम होता है रेशो कम कर दो तो मूव बन गया तेज ज्यादा कर दो तो पर्पल बन जाता है ये मुझे नहीं पता था हमारे जमाने में ना इतने नहीं होते थे साधा साधा सो वाला था या सफेद कपड़े होते थे या पीले होते थे या नीले होते थे या ब्राउन होते थे या बहुत है तो आउट ऑफ आउट वाइट फिर आ गए या ग्रीन या ब्राउन अब तो पता क्या मुसीबत है वैसे कहते हैं रंग जो है ना वो बेशुमार है ان کی صحیح تعداد کسی کو معلوم نہیں ہے سر یہ مکسر ہوتا ہے نا کمبینیشن ہوتا ہے جیسے کمبینیشن ہوتا ہے سر رنگ چینج ہوتا ہے رنگ چینج تو وہ پہلے سوانے میں چونکہ کمبینیشن نہیں ہوتی تھی زیادہ کمبینیشن نہیں ہوتی تھی تو رنگ بھی کم ہوتے تھے اب چونکہ کمپیٹرائز کمبینیشن ہے کمپیٹر سے بنتے ہیں نا تو بس جتنے بنا لو بنا لو وہ بازوں کے تو پھر ہمیں نام ہم جیسے پرانے لوگوں کو آتے بھی نہیں مجھے اور آگے کیا ہے ایڈیکیسی آل دی ایسپیکٹس آف دی ٹاپک ایڈیکیٹلی کھوڑ اف نات تھا نیو کوئیسٹینز ہیو تو بی ایڈیٹ انسٹرکشنز آر سفیشنٹ انسٹرکشنز گیون فار فیننگ آؤٹ دی کوئیسٹین ہے لیول آف وارڈنگ Uh, is the wording or the question appropriate for the respondents? Linguistics uh, ability, education, interest, and intellectual capacity. Cover letter. Is the cover letter constructed adequately? Does it offer the required information? Are there any points missing? Is it too long or too short? Are the respondents uh, properly addressed in the cover letter? Layout. Are the layout of the questionnaire, the color, the paper, and the point size adequate and acceptable? Pre-coding is pre-coded, uh, recorded adequately and in accordance with the computer program used. Computer may aajai na uske yes no uske categories. Just sawal ke 
जवाब आप आपको कौन सा कलर पसंद है तो आप पंद्रह कलर के नाम लिख लें दीज आर कल फ्री कोडेड पंद्रह में से कोई एक होगा ना हमने सारे के सारे लिख दिए दिस इज कॉल्ड प्री कोडेड हमने पहले ही बता दिया उसे लेकिन लफज कोडिंग मुख्तलिफ महीनों में इस्तेमाल होता है यहां ये मतलब है अच्छा स्टेटिस्टिकल डेटा ऑल ऑल स्टेटिस्टिकल डेटा ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स एज इसके जो पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन या पर्सनल डेटा मैं कह रहा हूं एज एजुकेशन ऑक्यूपेशन एक्सेट्रा आर रिक्वायर्ड क्या हम उसके एज से इस वेरिएबल को टेस्ट करेंगे वो जो हमने वेरिएबल बनाया था एज से कोई है उसका फैक्टर तालीम से फैक्टर है कि नहीं है तो वो हम पूछेंगे एज एजुकेशन ए तालीम तो तब हम उसे रिलेट कर सकेंगे बाकी क्या है आर दे सफिशेंट आर दे position in the right place on the questionnaire guides are the guides introduced to direct the respondent through the questionnaire clear and adequate principles have the methodological principles regarding the questionnaire construction been added to legal responsibility are there any question likely to cause violation of rights of the respondents or third parties uh ethical consideration is the questionnaire ethically sound or an impression is the questionnaire easy to read uh, and pleasant to follow or all so these are the certain uh, principles rules as how to construct the questionnaire if you have any question